Hey guys, so this morning we hiked out a few miles and guess what? Made 400 miles, so that's a thing. Um, so far, trail's pretty cruisy. We had a little bit of climbing. There were several people at the campsite last night. So there was me and B8 and Julia, and then I guess um, Austin Found showed up, and then somebody else showed up, but I don't know who that was. But uh, yeah. So we're out here doing it another hundred and that'll be as far as i've ever hiked so let's go ahead and get it next stop acton about 50 miles all right peace <laughs> guys we hit 400 again <laughs> like yeah maybe everyone's app is a little bit off i don't know but uh we celebrated again so and there's v8 hiking in front of me peace so beautiful uh beautiful country still hiking through some redwoods uh, still some burn area burn area goes on for miles and miles and miles so yeah we got poodle dog bush here you gotta avoid that at all costs. <laughs> Bad stuff. Anyway, gonna get on down the trail. All right. <laughs> hey guys, so we made it to a water source here. Um, Apparently you can just hook up your filter to that little spigot down there and filter your water. So I watched it happen where you could fill up a bag pretty quick. So that's cool. You don't have to open anything. You don't have to get all the grass out of your water or, you know, bugs or anything like that. <laughs> anyway, so it's a natural spring. And of course the trail is a little bit wet from it, but that's our water source today so that's pretty neat and uh stopped and had a snack i'll post some pictures there um you know through hiking at its most luxury luxurious moments and there's v8 filtering her water hi uh, she, she didn't know she was going to be a youtube superstar <laughs> It's going to be hard to capture him, but there's a woodpecker in that little tree. I know this is going to be a very boring video, but I want to capture them. And as I don't really edit my videos, I guess you'll have to suffer with me. See them in there? I see them in there. Oh, there he goes. Well, guys, we have been in the desert or in the mountains for several days, which has been really nice. And we've been hiking down pretty cruisy trail today. We've done about 11 or 12 miles, something like that so far. I haven't had lunch yet, but um, kind of looks like we're back in the desert again. <laughs> so it's like I said before, you know, trees, desert, desert trees. I don't know. I'm guessing we're gonna have a lot more desert, but uh, we will see, time will tell. Uh, Get on down the trail. All right.
found ourselves another walking dead road here. Looks like an abandoned road. Hasn't been used in years, but the, uh, the curvy road sign, I guess that makes for good target practice. Yep. <laughs> Hey guys, <clears throat> made it to mile 417.5. Um, yep, we had a um, six and a half mile water carry and dry camping, so we went ahead and loaded up on water and then uh, you know pushed the six and a half miles dry camped. That's going to set us up for water in the morning at the fire station which is about 1.1 mile uh, away. So uh, we're not worried about conserving water this evening. Anyway, yeah, so 417.5, that makes 22.3 miles today. That was pretty good. Uh, some beautiful redwoods. So um, we came out of the desert into the, or out of the forest into the desert, out of the desert into the forest. And now we're back in the desert. So, uh, yeah, that's Southern California for you. Uh, they just can't seem to make up their mind on, you know, they want forest or desert, mountains or not. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so tomorrow's agenda is about 18.5. And that should set us up to be in Acton uh, early the next day. So I'm guessing that's Saturday, maybe. And I'm expecting a resupply package there. V8 uh, needs to go into town and find the, find the uh, post office and maybe send our ice axe back. And we're still talking about the Sierra Nevada and uh, possibilities of skipping the Sierra uh, for safety concerns. I don't have a lot of mountaineering skills and from what I'm seeing online right now, that's what it takes. So it would not be um, smart for me to enter the Sierra and uh, put myself at risk or anybody else. So that's what I'm thinking, but uh, time will tell. I still have a few weeks to get to Kennedy Meadows and be done with the, uh, the desert section. So uh, I'm that thinking that a lot's going to change between now and then in the Sierra. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but, um, you know, that's how it goes on trail. So I'll skip up maybe and then uh, finish in Canada, maybe come back and do the Sierra. I don't know yet. So that's all up in the air right now, but it's definitely going to screw up my mileage. <laughs> I mean, like one day I'm in, uh, Kennedy Meadows, and the next day I'm in Sonora Pass. I mean, how do you do that many miles in one day? It's crazy. But anyway, and that's the update. I'm rambling. Hope y'all have a good night. Peace.